Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Um, before we transition off the NFL, two, two notes we want to make. First and foremost, man, shout outs and thoughts and prayers with uh, Calvin Ridley. He came out and mentioned uh, he's taking a little break from the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, he's dealing with some mental health issues. As we've addressed before in the past, we never take that lightly. And I commend the young man, um, you know, for whatever he's dealing with off the field, get yourself right. It's a, it's a very uh, tough sport to play already physically. So mentally, when you're dealing with some things or you got some things going on, take your time, bro. Get yourself right. Get back on the field. We, we think you're one of the better receivers in the league, but get yourself right. And you know, I take that one personally because that's Alabama right there. That's that's another Roll tie. You know what I'm Roll saying? Yeah, that's another member of the home team. So with Calvin Ridley, when I saw that one, I was proud of him for 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 speaking his truth and taking the time away to to get the help that he may need. Even even if it's just I need to just take two two three weeks off and be at home with my family. Even if it's just that, at a minimal. Um, you know, we talk about mental health a lot on the show. Big shout out to uh, to Coach D. Um, you know, she was on last week's show with us when we, we really went in depth on uh, on mental health and mental wealth. You guys should definitely uh, check out the, the interview with Coach D. Um, it's 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 on YouTube right now. And uh, if you want to listen to the audio, you can listen to that. You know, you guys know we're on on pretty much every major streaming platform. Um, but, you know. Mental mental health is is nothing to joke about. You know, we don't speak about it enough, at, you know, as a whole, um, not just on Real Fans Real Talk. You know, we speak about it a fair amount, but even, you know, we could speak about it a little bit more just because it's so important for for us to be to, to be mentally healthy, mentally wealthy. Um, you know, we don't we don't take the time that we need sometimes to really check in with with our friends, with our family members, just to see what's going on, how just how, how your day is going could be the difference in, in somebody, you know, in, in, in their mental, in their mental health, just, just that, just you asking somebody, how was their day could make the difference in them going into a state of depression or, you know, doing something, doing something else. So I'm, I'm very proud of Calvin really for speaking his truth and taking that time. I hope that, you know, I hope he takes however long it takes for him to get things back in order, take as much time, um, you know, as, as you need, I, I really hope that the that the Falcons support um, support him a thousand percent with this because again, mental health is is no joke. Um, so and and if he's saying that he needs it, you know, then I I think you know you gotta you gotta support that, especially when we're talking about one of the one of the top young wide receivers um, in, in in football right now. You want to make sure that you, that your guys is good. You know, show show that show that love to your players, man, because they're the ones that's 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 filling them seats up for you. So if they're telling you they're reaching out and telling you they're in need, you know, then help them out. Absolutely. I agree. Um, we applaud the young man for being brave enough to say he needs a break and that he's dealing with some issues. A few weeks ago, when the Falcons made the trip to London, he stood home at the time. It was just listed as personal reasons. And then now we see, you know, he, he's still dealing with something. So I hope all is well, man. Um, one of the things that we forget, as, and you kind of highlighted it too, is, you know, th these are young men who, who are dealing with a lot. You know, it's easy for us to critique and criticize what they're doing on the field, but these are young men with families, with girlfriends, with sons, with daughters. They got a lot going on away from the field. And sometimes they may need a break too. And it's like, look, this might be overwhelming. You know, I, I'm not saying this because we personally know what he's dealing with. But again, the fact that the young man is brave enough to speak up and say, look, I need some time away from the sport. Obviously, we know he loves the game. The yeah. fact that he's he's brave enough to say, I need a little time away. We, we got to applaud that and, and wish him the best, man. So I hope all is well with him. What's up, guys? I'm Emerald Marie. And be sure to check us out on the web at realfansrealtalk.com.